professionals and elites in the society celebrates media professional Latifa Tiemi Kolapo on a day where she is honored and celebrated at her installment as the Yellow Day of Egba Muslims for her selfless service to her community, Egba land, and humanity at large. Take a look. The chief imam of Egba land, Saadullah Bangbola, the Muslim community in Egba kingdom were joined by special guests from all walks of life and converged at the Kobiti Central Mosque in the ancient town of Abeokuta to honor one of their own, al Haja Latifat Yemi Kolakbo. <laughs> Tifat Yemi Kolakbo, a media professional with over 26 years experience in writing, editing, training, as well as designing and implementing sound corporate communication strategies, was found worthy in character to be installed as the Yaludi of Egba Muslims for her selfless service to her community, Egba land and humanity. There was a carnival-like atmosphere with special guests which include the representatives of the governors of Ogun and Kogi states and diplomats. Others include the wife of the former president, Chief Mrs. Bola Obasanjo, daughter of Chief MQ Abiola Hafsat Abiola Costello. Others at the occasion include professional colleagues, the national president of the Nigerian Union of Journalists, Chris Iziguzo, and Chief Ruben Abati. The celebrant was ushered into the hall with Islamic band and presented to the chief imam, other imams and Islamic scholars, Baha'i Jemo family members, where she originates for the turbaning ceremony as the Yalu Day of Egba Muslims is conferred on her. I rejoice with you as a devout Muslim, a veteran journalist, and a great pride of Egba land, not even Egba land alone, of Nigeria and of this whole world. And my charge to him is to continue to serve humanity, um, to continue to foster unity among um, the Egba Muslims and um, to continue to do her best uh, to uplift uh, the spirit that Egba people are known for. For uh, this set of people to decide to celebrate uh, a quintessential uh, a journalist, media icon, uh, speaks volumes as to her contributions uh, to her community. I'm deeply inspired, I'm deeply encouraged that this is now the yellow day of Muslim women of Egba land. I think it's a good omen for Egba people, it's a good omen for Ogun State and a good omen for Nigeria.
Chub and Inselmane. Guests were entertained at the reception in the heart of Abilkota, the state capital. Music was supplied by Abedin Olatunji and his band as guests joined the celebrant on the dance floor. There was also a special school anthem rendition by the old girls of Federal Government Girls College, Akure. The Ebwa Muslims are, you know, up for a new beginning and I'm really happy about that. She's a very strong woman, she's very generous to the people around her and I really look up to her and I strive to be better because I want to make her proud and also be like her one day. In fact, I would say I don't know what I have done to deserve this, but whatever it is, I want to thank everybody for the honor and also my immediate constituency, the Nigerian journalists, for always standing by me everywhere I go. We've been bonding right from my days in Punch through the Ministry of Industry, Trade and Investment, Finance, everywhere, in Kogi, ITF, everywhere. I thank you all very much and I wish you well. Alhaja Latifa at Yemi Kolakbo attended Command Children's School or JAW, Lagos, and Federal Government Girls College Akure. She holds the BSc and MSc degrees in economics with particular focus on econometrics from the University of Lagos and a doctorate fellowship award from the Institute of Public Sector Management, United Kingdom, with a PhD program in economics in view. She is a fellow of the West African Society for Communications and Administration and also a fellow Civilian Institute of Democratic Administration. She served as Senior Special Advisor, Corporate Communications and Strategy to the Minister of Finance and Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment of Nigeria, Ulusha Guaganga. Before the appointment, she was the first female group business editor of the Punch newspapers. She was a female National Publicity Secretary of the African Democratic Congress, a position she held until October 2020 when she resigned to focus on her media business. She is currently consultant on media and publicity to the Kogi State Government. She is the founder and publisher of The Point newspaper.